Hello friends, this video on surface area and volumes part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we'll see how to find the volume of a sphere. Sphere we have already told is again a three dimensional figure. It's perfectly geometrical, perfectly circular, perfectly round. It looks like a ball. The moment you think of a sphere, think of a cricket ball or basketball or football. The set of all points that are at the same distance are from a given point in the center in the three dimensional space. Okay, it is not a polyhedron. So we have to find the volume of this sphere. It's an activity you can do on your own also. So first we'll do is we'll calculate the radius of the sphere. We'll use a scale. Scale. And with that we'll find the radius of the sphere. We'll find diameter, we'll divide by two, we'll get the radius of the sphere. Once we found the radius of the sphere, we'll take one cylinder or we'll take any vessel actually and fill it with water. So once it can be of any shape, fill it with water and make sure that you have uh, some structure here which can uh, store water because we'll dip this cylinder into this tank and some water will spill over it. Right? So let's do that. So we'll dip this. So once you dip this, if you see some water spilled over and you can see water here. Now, you know what? You know the radius of the cylinder. Correct? Now, calculate the volume of this water. So, you will get some value. Okay? You calculate spilled water volume. And also, since you have R, calculate 4 by 3 pi R. And you will observe that these two values are same. That means the volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. Okay, so what we did, we took a sphere, found the radius first and took a tank full of water and dipped that sphere in the tank and some water spilled out. We found the volume of the water and we found that the volume of water is exactly equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube. So with that, we concluded that the volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. Similarly, volume of hemisphere will be half of this, that is 2 by 3 pi r cube. So, two different critical formulas, volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube, volume of sphere is 2 by 3 pi r cube. You see, the units are in r cube and the units will be meter cube, centimeter cube or liter. That will be the unit of volume of sphere. Let's take some numericals to understand the concept more. Let's start with the basic numerical. Here we have to find the volume of the sphere whose radius is 11.2 cm. So volume is nothing but 4 by 3 pi r cube. We know the radius, just put the value in the formula 4 by 3, 22 by 7, and r is 11.2, put a cube and the answer will be in centimeter cube. You solve this, you get 5887.32 cm cube. That is the volume of the sphere. Pretty easy. A short put is a metallic sphere of radius 4.9 cm. Density of the metal is 7.8 gram per cm cube. We to find the mass of the short put. Pretty easy. So we know that density is equal to mass by volume. So mass will be density into volume. Density is given you to first find the volume of the sphere. So volume of sphere we know that is pretty easy. 4 by 3 pi r cube, r is given, just put the values, get the answer, 4 by 3, 22 by 7, 4.9 and cube. Okay, so you saw this, you get almost 493 centimeter cube, that is the volume of the sphere. Right, so mass will be equal to what? Density into volume, I just told. Density is what? 7.8 gram per centimeter cube into volume is 493 centimeter cube. Centimeter cube, centimeter cube cancel. If you multiply, you get 3845.5 gram. If you want to convert this into kg, it is almost 3.85 kg. Right, pretty easy. Here you have to find mass. Mass is Nothing but density is due to volume. Density was given. We first found volume and multiply that with the given density. We got the value of mass. 
hemispherical ball radius 3.5 cm what would be the volume of water it will contain very easy see volume of hemisphere we know is what sphere is what 2 by 3 pi r r is given just put the values 2 by 3 into 22 by 7 r is 3.5 cube it will be in centimeter you saw this you get 89.8 centimeter that is the volume of water it can The diameter of a moon is approximately one fourth diameter of the earth, right? What is the fraction of volume of the earth is the volume of the moon. See, both are spherical, right? So, diameter is one fourth, radius will also be one fourth. So, radius of moon is one by four of radius of earth, correct? They are saying fraction of volume of earth to the volume of moon. So, we just find volume of earth by volume of moon okay and or with this I can say that uh, uh, radius of earth is 4 times radius of moon so let's find that volume of earth is what 4 by 3 pi r earth cube because earth is spherical volume of moon is 4 by 3 pi r moon cube this gets cancelled gets cancelled so what you are left with r earth by r moon cube so what is r earth is 4 times r moon cube so this gets cancelled so 4 into 4 to the power 3 is 64 so volume of earth by volume of moon is 64 right or i can say that volume of moon is equal to 1 by 64 into volume of Pretty easy. So also pretty easy question. How many liters of milk can a hemispherical bowl of diameter 10.5 centimeters? The radius will be 10.5 by 2 centimeter. So what is the volume of this? So this volume is nothing but 2 by 3 pi r cube. This hemispherical. So put the values 2 by 3 into 22 by 7. R is 10.5 by 2. 2 power cube. The centimeter cube. You solve it. You get 303 centimeter cube nothing but 0 0.303 liters so the only difference in this question extra part in this question is they are asking for answers to be in liters so we know that 1000 centimeter cube is 1 liter so with that we could actually convert 303 centimeter cube to liter that is 0 0.303 liters again a hemispherical tank is made up of iron sheet 1 centimeter thick the inner radius is 1 meter find the volume of iron used to make this tank so there is some thickness here okay and this is centimeter this is in meter so it will be confusing for me so what i can do is i can convert this into centimeter as well right so the inner radius is what 100 centimeter the outer radius is what 100 1 101 centimeter So with that, so volume of iron used to be what? 2 by 3 pi r2 cube minus r1 cube. Right? You take the volume of the uh, bigger cube and the smaller, sorry, big, bigger sphere, hemisphere and subtract with the volume of smaller sphere, hemisphere, you get the volume of the material used. Right? This is the material used. So put the values here 2 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 101 q minus 100 q so that is 2 by 3 into 22 by 7 this comes out to be 30301 yeah. and this will be on centimeter so you solve this you get 63430 centimeter q and are they looking in a liter? No, they are not looking in any unit. So this is also sufficient. 63430 centimeter cube is the answer. If you want, you can convert this into meter cube by dividing by uh, these many centimeter cube is equal to 1 meter cube. So you have to divide by this number. Yeah, tell them. So you will get uh, in meter cube. Yeah. 
this will be meter cube and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is extra 0, so it will be 0 0.06343030, 0 0.06343030, 0 0 okay, that is the volume of Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.